Work this okay, value. Okay, and then you call the VPN that we create. Okay, VPN. Okay, ACL. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, this, this one you can call VPN ACL. Okay, VPN ACL. Okay, then uh, street channel policy. Okay, channel or Okay, and then we go to the step four, create a channel group. Okay, channel. Um, I did channel group. Okay, I put the name of the channel. T is mean to channel. G is mean group. T G. Okay, on remove process. Okay, for the T G is the name of the channel group. You can put any. Okay, anything that you want to put. Okay, and then we go to the channel group and TG same general attribute. Okay, and therefore we call the pool name that we created before. Okay, it's VPN pool or uh, VPN pool. Okay, uh, go to the find the pool that we created. Okay, VPN pool. Okay. Okay, and defaults for group policy and then GP G group policy. Okay, add to group GG and RPC. Okay, and then IGE create a key for the official uh, key. Okay, and then I'm tired of Cisco. Okay, and then uh, for the step five, you have to uh, configure crypto IP section form set. Okay, then crypto IP search case ID one transform set. Okay, then you set the name of the transform set. For example, okay, uh, my set. Okay, AS. And then call the three dash uh, encryption. Okay, and has shot. Okay. okay, and then we go to the create dynamic map. Create dynamic map. Okay, for the link map, is the name of the dynamic map. Okay, you can put any string. Example, din, din is mean dynamic, okay, not dynamic map, sorry, not one, okay, and then set, uh, aka one, transform set, we call it the transform set, set into the dynamic not, okay, my set, in the, okay, and then crypto uh, dynamic, okay, then the same din. One shed reverse uh, route. Okay, and then we create the crypto map. Crypto map. Okay, crypt map. Okay, crypt map is mean the crypto map, the name of the crypto map. Okay, one IP shed is a GMP dynamic, and then we call the team is the dynamic name. Dynamic name or uh, dynamic map name. Okay. So you call this one, okay? In the okay, and then crypto uh, map, crypt map, okay. In the first, and I'll try. Okay. Okay, all these. Okay, and then uh, for the step five, we configure all these. Okay, and then I'm go to the testing. Okay. For the step three, uh, for the step three, I'm able to configure later. But I'm go to the window outside and set up the uh, VPN client. Okay, this is the uh, outside PC. Then I'm go to the this PC and set up the uh, VPN client on this this PC. Window is VPN one. Okay, and go to the this VPN one. 
Okay, this is the window is begin and one at our side. Okay, and go to the VLAN button. The VLAN software. Cisco. Okay, and then and uh, make the connection new. Okay, and block this one. Okay, add new. Okay, connection entry. Example, I'm put VPN. You can put enable. You can put anything. Okay. Okay, this one. Okay, and host you tie the public IP from the Cisco ASA. Okay, group. Okay, uh, group authentication group. Um, set the group authentication and uh, group tunnel. Okay, GT tunnel group. Okay. Okay, for the group you 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 call this one. This is the name of the group, so you put on this one group authentication. This is the group, the tunnel group, the name of the tunnel group. Okay, and password. Okay, you put uh, Cisco before. Okay, this one. This is the the, the password. Okay, T group and uh, Cisco. Okay, Cisco. Okay, and then sell. Okay, I'm um, connect. Okay, so alert. Uh, you tie the username and the password. Okay, for the username, I'm set the uh, user zero one before. Okay, and then user zero one the same. Connected. Okay, so we've unconnected. Okay, that you see. Connected to the VPN okay and then you can go the status as I expect okay okay that you see the IP this is IP that pool that we create on the VPN server in the Cisco ASA so assign uh, IP address to the VPN client okay that you see receive and send okay and then I'm go to testing okay I'm going to the uh, PC okay this PC IP address is working or not Okay, it's not working. Okay, so we've unconnected, but uh, you cannot ping to the, but not ping to the uh, local machine in the outside, uh, local land. Okay, so you have to the uh, map. Okay. Okay, so you have to uh, create the object for the remote. Okay, and then um, uh, uh, I this command start it. Okay, and then I'm go to the create the object. Okay, I'm object never. Okay, I'm put the name on the object. For example, um, remote. Okay, remote. Okay, and then some name. Okay, and then a uh, source. Okay, started. Okay, we call the land. Land that is an object that we created before land. Okay, and then a uh, destination. Okay, started. Okay, and remote. Okay, call this name object. Okay, and remote. Set. Okay, and enter. Okay, and then you can go check this one. Okay, so the connection is working. That you see, when you type the command, create create the new object for the remote. Okay, and then I'm working. okay, it's working for the local machine. Okay, and then I'm going to the Google. It's working or not? Okay, so it's not working. Okay, so we can ping to the local user, but uh, we cannot access to the internet. Internet is uh, disconnected, so can I ping? Okay, so you have to uh, uh, 
uh, tie one more common okay okay so you can tie this common okay I'm go to the object verb okay and then um, remote okay, and that's outside outside okay and dim and make the first and hide the command exam security permit okay in that okay so you go to testing again okay so working okay then you can ping to the LAN also okay okay and then I, I can uh, uh, share okay, so I can get the result from the user in the local inside okay okay um, go to the PC uh, okay this is a PC uh, window is required to and the uh, local uh, inside okay I'm testing I'm share testing to the uh, other user can assess and get the result from the testing I'm share okay and then I'm I'm, I'm, I'm go to the uh, okay, I'm go to the Windows Plan One for the uh, uh, get the result from Windows Plan Two because I'm my connection a bit and only so uh, it's uh, so um I can uh, ping to the IP and get the result. Okay, let you see. Okay, this is Windows Plan One at the outside. Let's see, so I can get the result from the testing user okay it's working yeah, and internet is working also so we can access the internet and uh, we can access it to the user in the local LAN at the inside call okay this is a benefit that we create at the VPN remote access on the Cisco ASA okay for the configuration is uh, working okay so for the last step uh, you can uh, verify VPN okay so verify VPN you can type the command okay, show okay crypto is okay and shine let you see the step AMIQ which means VPN configure successfully okay Okay, then you can show the IP. So crypto okay, so IP six sign. Okay, so you can check this one uh, 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 packet encapsulation. Okay, when you see this number is uh, a random. Okay, so the connection VPN is working. Okay, that you see a uh, uh, two uh, two hundred eighty eight. So I'm uh, uh, so again. you see okay okay and then uh, for the this is command verify okay. so you can type the command uh, any command uh, crypto crypto okay one Okay, and you see the same. Okay, and then you can find a command step. Next, you can check the landing. Uh, okay, for uh, in this video, um, I'm finished. Uh, for the configure with any more access, uh, I'll be set on the Cisco ASA. Okay, uh, 
thank you for watching my video